Hi, I'm Peter Norman with Iconics Imaging. And I'm Nathan Horgan with Media Blast and Abrasive. We are here at our manufacturing plant in Brea, California. We are going to show you how we build our crystal blast sand carving units. So companies that have purchased crystal blast equipment from Iconics Imaging know the quality that they get um, when they start working with the equipment. They know the cleanliness, the efficiency, ergonomics, speed, and everything that comes with the crystal blast line. A lot of them aren't aware of the background of what goes into building the equipment. So from the CAD program, SolidWorks, all the way up until the actual manufacturing, there's a lot of facets and a lot of high-tech equipment that we use. Um, Nathan, could you explain some of the equipment that's used in building the cabinets? Yeah, really a lot of it starts with the R&D and the working with Iconics um, and taking that to paper. And the way we do that is with uh, CAD programs and we also utilize uh, SolidWorks, which is a 3D modeling program. After that, we would bring it out here and this is our CNC punch press. So as the sheet rolls in under the punch press, you'll see it's rotating and selecting a tool, um, either shearing out or punching a hole in the material, um, following the, the program that was designed in the engineering office. We can punch round holes, triangles, uh, shear dies, embossing tools. The precision and quality that we use is a lot higher level of precision that you would get from a competitive cabinet, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. you see a lot of these machines in aerospace manufacturing companies, um, not so much in the blasting industry, so it's, we're really pushing the uh, state-of-the-art equipment here. With sand carving, precision is the name of the game. The projects that customers work on are very detailed, especially when working with photoresist, and the equipment that they use, it's very important that they get the same precision and quality when they're doing their sand carving. Talk about the precision that you get from a Media Blast, Crystal Blast piece of equipment. The precision is really focused with us. Um, other manufacturers of this type of equipment use a thin gauge steel because it is much easier to work with. Um, we use a thicker gauge steel and because of the equipment that we have, we're able to design it and get the tolerances that most people cannot get with a thicker gauge steel, um, which is really important. These machines are gonna last forever. Um, and really get the quality that you guys are looking for. Yeah, and since the steel is thicker, um, you can imagine our cabinets are gonna be a lot more solid, a lot more sturdy, and as Nathan says, they're gonna last forever. This is our CNC press brake. So this actually bends the material, the sheet metal, um, into the formed machine. So this is kind of where it starts coming to life. Um, this process is really important because without a CNC, press break, you can't really design the tolerances needed to minimize the welding um, and really make the machine airtight to uh, keep the shop clean, keep the dust off the ground. So what this does is this takes the material, it'll actually, the top die will come down and bend the sheet metal around it. It actually doesn't bottom out and compress the material, it's called an air bend, so it actually just kind of bends it on the bottom die bed. Um, all, again, designed in the engineering office, programmed. Um, to make the best possible machine, the cleanest possible machine. So Nathan, like we're talking about the quality of the process of building a crystal blast piece of equipment. Talk about fabrication and welding and what comes next. So here at Media Blast and Abrasive, we MIG weld uh, most of our equipment. Um, again, there's not a whole lot of welding uh, needed on these equipment because of the time we spend designing them to be um, as continuous as possible with the sheet metal. Um, but when we do, it is a MIG weld, and um, because of the design, there's very small gaps in the steel, so there's not a whole lot of welding needed. Um, but we do finish them up with grinding, so when you see the completed equipment, um, we really pride ourselves on the quality of product that we can provide here at Media Blast and Abrasive. Uh, making the cleanest uh, machine, keeping the dust off the ground, keeping the dust out of the air. Um, with the high-flowing CFM dust collector, I think we can really achieve that. So Nathan, tell me the type of paints that we use in the process of painting a Crystal Blast piece of equipment. Yeah, so here at Media Blast and Braces, we chose to go with a polyurethane catalyst paint, much like an automotive paint. Um, when, when cured, it's really comparable to a powder coat, if not harder. Um, it's a lot more cost effective, a lot better for the environment, uses a lot less energy. Um, you don't have to heat the product, it does um, air dry. Um, and when it hardens, um, it's much like an automotive paint. 
most manufacturers that choose to powder coat, uh, really the fact behind it is when they use like a hammer tone finish or one of those uh, textured finishes. It's really to hide the flaws um, in their manufacturing process. Mm -hmm. So with our cabinets and the paint that we use, we're not trying to hide anything. So we use the highest quality paints and process and we're not powder coating because we have nothing to hide. Right, and it's uh, really trying to go green um, and keep the energy costs down. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Please give us a call and we will help find the cabinet that best fits your production needs.